it's still anybody's race. Fantastic action in this British sidecar Grand Prix. Stroyer leads, Webster second, and Bielan now challenging for that second place, but Webster holds him off. Stroyer from Webster. That's the way it is at the moment. In third place, Beeland and Waltisberg. Tony Hewitt working overtime in the chair to keep that sidecar wheel on the ground. And Webster tries it round the outside. But not this time. He's got the inside line for the next corner. Will he be able to blast up the hill and snatch back the lead? Not this time. Stroyer shuts him out. It's still Egbert Stroyer and Bernard Schneiders who lead. World champions in 1984, 85 and 1986. Steve Webster trying to go around the outside, but look at that action at the chicane. Stroyer desperate to hang on to this lead and win the British Grand Prix, and Webster equally desperate to stop him. Stroyer leads into the hairpin. Egbert Stroyer and Bernard Schneiders. Steve Webster and Tony Hewitt second. They've got the inside line and they've got the power on first. Stroyer goes wide and Webster snatches it. And Bielan goes through to grab that second place as well. Steve Webster and Tony Hewitt in the lead of the British Grand Prix once more. Bieland and Waltisberg in second place and Bieland's gone through to take it. Bieland has taken the lead in the charge up towards the back markers. On the run into the chicane, Bieland takes the lead. But Webster is ready to snatch it back. He goes through on the inside before the old hairpin. Steve Webster and Tony Hewitt lead the British Grand Prix one more time. It's the British lads that lead. Steve Webster and Tony Hewitt at the front of the field for this British sidecar Grand Prix. Rolf Bieland and Kurt Waltersberg in second place. Egbert Stroyer and Bernard Schneiders in third spot. But the Brits are leading. Webster and Hewitt and they're pulling away. In third place, Egbert Stroyer and they've been left now. At the start of the last lap, Steve Webster and Tony Hewitt lead. Rolf Bieland and Kurt Waltisberg in second place. And Egbert Stroyer and Bernard Schneiders a long way back now in third. It looks like a second British Grand Prix win in a row for Steve Webster and Tony Hewitt along the top straight for the last time. They've got the chicane, the new hairpin and Goddard's corner before they take the chequered flag. They take it to stop the Rolf Bieland monopoly on Grand Prix sidecar wins. Webster and Hewitt win the British Grand Prix on their Silkeline Krauser LCR. Bieland and Waltisberg second. Alan Michel sneaks through to take third place. Egloff and Egloff are fourth. Stroyer slips back to fifth and Kamano takes sixth place. The championship then and Webster's back in the hunt. Bieland still has a commanding lead over Webster in second. Michel is third, Stroyer fourth, Zerbrug fifth and Derek Jones in sixth place in the championship now. But there's no more delighted men in Britain than Steve Webster and Tony Hewitt, winners of the British Grand Prix.